Hey everybody, Sean Bukowski here. Hope you're all having a great week, even though it is freezing here in Central Texas. I uh, wanted to talk to you this week a little about a little bit of something about, um, uh, you know, look, we're all excited for the holidays. I am too. Thanksgiving's next week, uh, and then we have the December holidays, um, and it's an exciting time of year. It's a fun time of year. You get to be with your friends and your family. But there's something I kind of talked to my staff, my team about this week. Um, and that is sort of avoiding what I kind of call the holiday malaise. And it's so easy. There's basically six weeks left in the, in the, in the year, 2022. And it's so easy to just kind of get caught up in, you have Thanksgiving with your friends and family. And then there's, you know, work holiday parties and, and all that until you hit, um, you know, sort of the year end and all of the, that entails. Uh, and, and it's easy to let these six weeks just kind of slide by without being productive. And it's something that um, we really talk about a lot uh, is, is not, not you know, missing out on these last six weeks on what can really be uh, a really productive time. And it doesn't mean you don't, you know, enjoy the holidays and celebrate, like I said, celebrate with your friends and family. But when you're at work, it's, you know, kind of keeping concentration. And, and you know, this is a weird time. I, I've talked to a lot of people out there in real estate, and a lot of people are just kind of, like, hesitant about what they're going to do with the, you know, sort of weird economy and unknown. Are we going to get higher interest rates still um, yet this year, maybe? Uh, what's 2023 going to look like? But with uncertain times brings a lot of opportunity. Uh, and, and you know this, I'm not telling you anything you probably don't know. There are, um, you know, going to be distressed assets and whether you can uh, acquire them or, or help that, you know, help the owner with some kind of third party lending or whatever, uh, those opportunities are going to be out there. And the sooner you get out there and start um, looking into those and jumping on those, the better off you're going to be. And so, uh, you know, my only I just don't waste these six weeks and say, oh, we'll look at that in the new year. Get 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 active. Get at it now. Um, and in addition, you know, it's between you and your tax, but there's always obviously year end uh, tax issues that you might want to consider getting a deal done uh, before the end of the year for tax purposes uh, either way. So, you know, I guess, the only, you know, I just want to say don't don't hold off. Don't make this a. Um, a, a nothing six weeks and just kind of like get into that like set holiday malaise uh really set yourself up for a good 2023 by staying aggressive in these next six weeks and, and uh and and looking forward to a great 2023 because there's going to be lots of opportunities out there i uh, hope you have a great week I'll talk to you soon please sign up for our youtube channel our podcast and our blog